So we have now managed to enter the green zone. Uh, the Hussein, most secured area. Yes, the most secured area. We are on our way to visit the leader of Hokuk. His name is Hussein Muniz. 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 And uh, this has been uh, kindly arranged by uh, my friend Hussein Baru. Parliamentary offices that we're going to is that houses. Oh, these are actual houses. Uh, houses on offices also. Yes. So the parliamentarians live here in yes, the green some, zone. Some of them live here in the green zone. Yes. Right. And some of the head of the governments also and they live here. They live here too. So as far as you know, within the green zone is freedom unrestricted. Once you get in, can you basically go into the American section and? British section, or is is there compartments? No, 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 no compartments. Oh, so compartments. I see. I think we have to support the majority. Majority, if you are going to work on it, no, it's every every zone on its own. So the Americans presumably would not let us into their section if we tried. Their their section is 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 a dead end section. That's <laughs> it. Good afternoon, this is Dimitri Lascaris coming to you from Baghdad, Iraq on April 1st, 2024. And today I'm pleased to be joined by the leader of an Iraqi political party known as Hokuk. And uh, the leader of this party uh, to my right is Hussein Muniz. Thank you so much for joining me today. You're welcome. So I'd like to uh, begin by talking a little bit about your party. Uh, I understand it has six seats in the Iraqi parliament, is that correct? Six of the 329 seats. يقول أود أن أبدأ الكلام حول الحركة التي تمثلونها وعدد المقاعد التي لديكم في البرلمان هل هي ست مقاعد؟ And just for the benefit of our audience, we're joined uh, off camera by Hussein Barut, who's been kind enough to offer his translation services today. Uh, so, um, and your party, as I understand it, Hukuk means the Rights Party. Is that right? Look, uh, for nearly two years, for three years, uh, we published small places. We established? We established the uh, Hukuk Movement. Because uh, there was a conflict in the political process, and there was a conflict in the political process of the Iraqi people, because of the political process. So? Uh, three years ago, they established the Hukuk Movement. Uh, and the reason they established Hukuk Muslim because they saw there is frustration from the political action that's being taken by the, all the politicians in Iraq and the way how they degraded the country, degraded the economy, degraded the community. So Hukuk took on their own. Uh, رافض الى النظام النظام السياسي لذلك كان عندنا راي ان ندخل لاجل تقويم هذا النظام. This the, 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 this fail I mean he's talking about the fail of the political action that's been taken all the decisions everything that's been taken led to public frustration. Therefore Mr. Munis and his followers and the rest of Hukuk members decided to join the political work in this country and represent the Iraqi people in the parliament. Therefore, we have right now six seats in the Iraqi parliament. We did not take part in the government on the, not on the legislative side. They are on the legislative side, but they are not on the, uh, the executive side. Executive side. They are not on the executive side. So the current government is a coalition government, is that correct? Uh, yes. And is it, is it fair to describe your party as a Shia Muslim party? 
يقول يعني من المنطقي انه نوضحكم على انه حقوق انه تمثل الشيعة او الشيعة من يديرونها يعني ار يو توكينج اباوت هوم ات ريبريزنت اور هو هو رانز ذا موفمنت ويل اي وود بوت ات ذس واي سو ليتس لوك فور اكزامبل ات هزبولاي ان لبنان بيبل ثينك اوف ذات بارتي از ا شيعة مسلم بارتي دوز هوكوك present itself as a representative of Shia Muslims or is نحن في الانتخابات كان لدينا بعض المرشحين سنة في مناطق السنية لكنهم ما فازوا بالانتخابات during the the last election they had some Sunnis in حقوق they and but they could not make it to the نحن قيادات الحركة كلهم شيعة yes all the leaders in حقوق are Shia Muslims لكن أكيد إحنا ما نمنع السنة but we do not stop in the way of Sunnis to join Hukuk and what we want. Which means the, 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 internal system the, in, the, in, the, internal, the internal system for the movement does not stop in the face of anybody, no matter what he is, mm-hmm. from joining Hukuk and work for the Iraqi people. مشروع حقوق هو مشروع وطني وليس مشروع ديني متشدد. حقوق has project that is a national project not a religious project. تكلمنا عن مبادئ واهداف حركة حقوق اثناء الحملة الانتخابية وهذا موجود في اليوتيوب ومواقع التواصل. We have talked about حقوق principles. Before the election days, on what Hukuk aims for, mm-hmm. and so uh, there was there an opportunity for Hukuk to be part of the government, and you declined the opportunity. Were you invited to participate in the government? هل كانت فرصة لحقوق لتكون جزء من الحكومة وأنتم رفضتم؟ نعم كان لدينا فرصة أن نأخذ وزارة باعتبار استحقاقات يعني كان لدينا فرصة ورفضنا هذه الفرصة. They 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 had an opportunity to to have one ministry but they refused that. Okay. Yes. Uh, now I'd like to talk to you about your own personal history in the resistance. يقول أحب أسألك عن أتكلم معك حول يعني تاريخك الشخصي في في المقاومة. I understand that uh, you were imprisoned uh, by the Americans or at an American-run facility, I believe in Basra. Is that correct? They go on and if they had to be known to connect, you know, Sajid led the American fee. I had a sojourn in the Kano and American idea on how many years were you in prison? Four years. Nearly. Nearly four years. When was when was that? What years were those? Most of it in the Baghdad. بغداد ايربورت لا شو وقت الفتره من 2008 لغايه 2012 الى ان هذا بسبب لان انت شاركت في المقاومه العسكريه ضد الاحتلال الامريكي قبل ذاك الوقت الوجود الامريكي في العراق كان وجود احتلال ومن الطبيعي ان ناموس البشري انك ترفض هذا الاحتلال What he's saying is that the American presence in Iraq is an occupation presence, and no human with dignity would accept occupation in his country. Therefore, I was, I refused the American presence on the Iraqi land as an army, American army presence yes. on the land. Of Iraq. And, and, When you were involved in the resistance, were you a member of a particular resistance group? Uh, for example, one group that's often talked about in the West is Taib uh, Hezbollah. Were you a member of such a group when you were involved in the resistance? You said that you were a member of this movement, you were a member of Hezbollah, as you were in the Western world. I mean, we were not in the beginning, we were not in the beginning of Hezbollah, we were not in the beginning of Hezbollah. In the beginning, we did not have something they call it Hezbollah first. All what we know, there was an occupation and we had to resist that occupation. Uh, 
After his arrest, I mean, he was in jail, he found out that Hezbollah was demanding his safety and his being. Uh, so, and the American accused him at that time of being a part of Hezbollah. Uh, after that, he said, well, I go along with the people who, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What were the conditions like in this prison? شنو كان الوضع بالسجن يعني وسجنكم اللي كنتوا مدفونين به؟ يعني هو كان مراحل مختلفة. Was on different stages, many stages. وبالاختصار ممكن أن أفسرها ثلاث مراحل. Three stages. مرحلة إنه في قاعة عامة وسجن مختلط سجن. Yes. Yeah. Uh, يعني كم؟ The first one was like a big hole, like a camp, and everybody in it. Yes. Well, stage the other one, the second. Second stage was a tent. Well, third, the mahjar. Uh huh. And the last one is confinement, prison. And was he in a cell by himself? Well, you enter into a cell, not a long time. For a long time. For a long time by himself. Yes, on a cell, confinement. Did you did you ever experience solitary confinement? Solitary confinement. When they put somebody, they segregate the person from population. There's no lights. That's there's no. Okay, so okay. يقول يقول يعني حطوكم بموضع بحيث انه ماكو بوه لا انسان يجي لا يقول لك راح اسولف لك بشيء من التفصيل على مراحل الاعتقال. Would you like to hear a little bit in depth about what he went through during his yes في فترة اعتقالي بقيت انا تقريبا تقريبا ثلاث اشهر بعيد ما اعرف يعني تقريبا شهر بعيد ما اعرف بين النهار في مكان بارد جدا مو بارد بارد جدا بارد جدا مو بارد, بارد جدا بارد جدا بارد جدا آه يعني ثلاجه ريفريجريتر اوف وكان ظروف التحقيق جدا قاسيه نسيت حرماننا من الاكل حرماننا من الدار والتواليت آه العنف اللي كان يستخدمه يعني يعني ضاربوا شغلات لا ماكو ضرب بس عنف سياح ارهاب اوكي تخويف هذه المرحلة اللي بقينا لي تقريبا شهرين فترة تحقيق فترة جدا قاسية. The first part of it. والتهديد كان يهددون إن يأهلنا أو إن يجيبوهم ولا. Okay. The first part was was so hard. Confinement, solitary, just like what you said. There was light, but it was very cold. It's like a freezer, a place just like a freezer. For almost two months, alone by himself, the lack of food, lack of clothes, very hard to, to use a bathroom. It's hard to use a bathroom. I mean, it was a fight to get to get to the bathroom. They don't let you go to the bathroom, and they were threatening him. Uh, I mean, using his family uh, as a way of threatening him and telling him that. They may bring his family with him, or they may hurt his family. So they were using interrogation ways that's against human rights. There was no human rights at all in that. <laughs> A very disrespectful way of dealing with uh, with him. the first stage. That's the first stage of it. بعدين انتقلت إلى الكمات إلى الكم. أها. أول ما وضعني مع السنة. مع التكفيرين في السنة وهم قتل. أوكي. إلى أن تم نقلي بعدين إلى كم خاص في الشيعة ومجموعة. وهناك بالمعتقل أكيد ما كان عندنا تواصل ويا عوائلنا. After this stage, the second stage of that, they, 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 he was sent to a camp, big open camp, and he was put with the Wahhabis, with the Takfiris. Wahhabis like Al Qaeda, like Jabhat al Nusra, all these people, this type of group of people for a while. And uh, actually, he has no way of contact. At that time, he could not contact his family, mm -hmm. near no nothing about him. How, how, about was he, how was he treated by those Wahhabi prisoners? He go to Shur uh, he, he, he actually, they could not tell. 
about him anything. They thought that he's one, he was one of them. I see. So he kind of changed his skin. Uh -huh. After that, he was moved to the Shia camps. During all that time, they kept interrogating him. I, once every while they send they they take him for interrogation the Americans and then even like even the second stage or the third stage but the interrogation did not stop I, uh, the, the, I mean the numbers of people they were a lot in every camp a lot of people they were arrested in those camps and uh Presumably, they wanted to know about other members of the resistance, about the resistance groups. Is that what were they interrogating him Presumably, about? Presumably, yes. And were the prison guards uh, essentially Americans, or were they Iraqis? All of them are American. I think. I think they are a navy. Yeah, they are navy. 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 Or or Marine. Yeah, yeah. And, Marine. Uh, Marine. And Marine. the interrogators, do you know anything about the people who interrogated you? Were they also... Yes, they were interrogated. They were interrogated. They were interrogated. He said that they, I, we did not think that the name that they, they, that you, they used to call them, I mean, they used to be called the interrogators, or the tra or their translators are not the correct name. Everything was fake. And so I understand that the Americans recently uh, applied sanctions to you. And what is the nature of these sanctions? Essentially, I guess using the dollar. He's saying, he's saying the problem right now is not using the dollar. I, I have no problem. I, which, what he means, that is not what he said, but he has no problem using the dollars or not using the dollar. But the problem is right now, this is taking toll on, on him. In, in using the Iraqi dinar, you, you getting his salary right. in the Iraqi bank. But when he says dollars, maybe he is he meaning more broadly banking transactions. He can't do transactions with banks in any currency, or is it just U.S. dollar uh, transactions? He could he could mean he could do dollar. I mean, in a situation, I mean, in a situation where he wants to do some transactions, money or what? He means any use of a dollar. Handling, transaction, yes. selling, getting is prohibited on him by the U.S. Treasury. This first. And the devil Biden. This first. Okay. Uh, the second thing, which is the most important part of him right now, money is not a big deal for him. Actually, that's what he's saying. He's saying it. This will affect my pol uh, uh, political future because I I have and I, I would like to achieve ach like I would like to have an achievement which is building a country, so building assist, a political assist. system that would work and work correctly to the people of Iraq. So, so they've they've trying to limit your travel as well. Is that correct? Uh, yes. yes. And uh, I understand that this has impacted your salary, that you have not been able to receive salary payments for several months, is that correct? I said that it has affected your salary in four to six months. No, it happened for a year, but the issue is that the payment is going to he, uh, he said, no, it's been two months, correct. He corrected the numbers, two, yeah. two months. And the problem is that his account have stopped in the TP, Iraqi TPI. TPI. So basically, the Americans are stopping a member of the Iraqi parliament from receiving his government salary from the state of Iraq. Is that correct? In the American people, 
برلماني عراقي من ان يستلم راتبه وكذلك حددوا صلاحياتي في التاثير واثروا على مستقبلي كنائب وكرئيس حركه سياسيه مستقبلي السياسي يعني حددوا حركتي كنائب صلاحياتي تحددت وحددوا مستقبلي السياسي كرئيس حركه. Well basically what they did is لا اعرف شو اكتب خليني basically what they limited his power in his movement okay right on the political stage right because they wanted to eliminate him or weaken him so he does not have a future in the political side of Iraq did the Americans uh, offer an explanation for this uh, or is this your interpretation of why they did it uh, انت ترجمت هذا الوضع يعني انت تفهم بهذا الاسلوب نتائج the result of this The result. But was there any explanation given by the Americans? Any any توضيحات من الأمريكان حول هذا الشيء؟ لا لا الأمريكان في المذكرة كتبوا توضيحات إنه عنده تحويلات مالية وعنده دعم إلى كتاب حزب الله في المذكرة. وطلبت من الحكومة العراقية إجراء تحقيق بهذا الخصوص. In their notes, in their notes, they say that he supports حزب الله on their resistance. By giving them money and by yeah, giving exactly. them advice and weapon, and therefore they they ask the Iraqi government to do their interrogation on that part with well, Mr. Hussein. When I also asked the government for two written documents, they wanted to make a statement on this allegation. Oh, and he also sent two official books letters to the Iraqi government. Ask them them to interrogate these accusation and get the truth out. Right. When he mentioned just now Hezbollah, he's talking about Khitayib Hezbollah, not the Lebanese yes. Hezbollah. Yes. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and my understanding is that these are two separate organizations: the Hezbollah in Lebanon and the Khitayib Hezbollah here in Iraq. They're they're independent. Right. يعني هو And and uh, I want. I, I would be interested in your position on this notion that Khtayib Hezbollah is a terrorist organization. What is the position of Khtayib Hezbollah as you understand it about uh, attacks on civilians? Does it have a policy with respect to this? In, in what way? Do they, do they have a policy? Uh, is it a prohibition for the organization to attack civilian targets? Is that something that they allow? So it's civilian targets where? You mean in Iraq? Yeah, anywhere. Also. Anywhere. In Hezbollah himself? About the organization Khtayib Hezbollah. Because, and the reason why I ask this question is because this is an, an accusation which Western governments make against resistance groups. They can, say can that... You, can, okay, can you, can you reform the question sure. to as an accusation by the Americans? That's what I mean. So we put, no, yeah. uh, so we can put it, uh, Mr. Dimitri. I understand. Yes. Okay. Yes. Have the Americans uh, accused Taib Hezbollah of targeting civilians? Hal ittaham al-Amerikan Hezbollah بي مهاجمته للمدنيين العراقيين وغير العراقيين لا هو سؤال عراقيان عراقي either one either one عراقيين وغير عراقيين يعني خلي اوضح لك من كلامي اله قال هم بالغرب حاليا الاعلام الغربي الماكينه الاعلاميه الغربيه تشيع عليكم بانكم تستهدفون المدنيين سواء عراقيين او غير عراقيين، هل لديكم هذا الشيء؟ لا هو يقول الامريكان اتهموا لو ما اتهموا؟ هو اللي اتهموا، انا سالته قال لي هم يقول اتهموا، يقول بالاعلام يقولون م. عليهم هم يقتلون المدنيين. الامريكان اتهموا كتاب حزب الله باستهداف مدنيين، هذا موجود في اعلامه. لكن الحقيقه اوكي، ذا امريكان اكيوز حزب الله of attacking civilian people in their uh, propagandas. Correct. Yes. But the truth. الحقيقة أن كتاب حزب الله لم تستهدف مدنيا واحد. That كتاب حزب الله have never ever attacked one single civilian person. ما يحدث هو أنه أثناء الاحتلال الأمريكي يعني لغاية 2012 كان عدوهم هو التواجد الأمريكي العسكري. What happened is, all what they were fighting 
They were fighting the Americans as military present, not companies, not corporates, not people who has official business in Iraq. And we have a good proof of that, that they could not, when I was arrested by the Americans, they did not accuse me of killing one single civilian person and I, I, I can tell, I can add to what he said. Mm -hmm. He would challenge them, I, he would dare them to show the accusation charge that being, that being posted on him the first time that uh, he was arrested. Uh, by the way, I mean, uh, during the, my uh, dur dur during his arrest with the Americans, his neighbor, I mean, the one that was next to him, was a Sunni. During Daesh time, during ISIS, during the war of ISIS. There was not an attack on any civilians because because of they they were Sunnis. But if they were armed or fighters, then we have to face them with power. Till today, there is no one single accusation that's been put out or made by the Iraqi government or judicial system to Hezbollah, accusing them, to Qatar Hezbollah, accusing them of targeting or killing Iraqi civilian people. And there is no single person in the Iraqi confinement cell that's been accused of killing Iraqi civilian people. Mm -hmm. So, uh, thank you for that. I, I would like to talk about uh, a resolution in the Iraqi parliament. I understand it was adopted after the assassination, the murder of uh, Qasem Soleimani, that uh, the parliament wanted the occupation forces to leave. Is that correct? There was a parliamentary resolution demanding the Americans leave? First of all, this is uh, we consider it as a public decision because the parliament represents the people. The American presence came back to Iraq after ISIS invaded one third of Iraq. So America, they were out 2011. They were out 2011. So, so the the uh, attacks by ISIS became the justification yes. for the return of America. Yes. 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 So ISIS was the road for the Americans to come back to Iraq. In another way, they got out of the door to the 2011 and they came back through the window 2014. Public, the public have been opinion of the Iraqis that United States invest in Daesh, yes. in ISIS. ISIS. Mm -hmm. And ISIS. Why? Because it's their way of going back to Iraq and staying in the Middle East in general and Iraq. And this sort of yes. point. And the proof of that, to prove that, we did not see any real military action 
by the American or the coalition force, what they call it, against the against ISIS at that time. There, uh, and and to prove that the the, US, the Americans they were talking about it would take 20 years to liberate Iraq from ISIS. That's mean that we are planning to stay. Uh, 20 years in Iraq <laughs> before لكن, anything. لكن كان هناك فتوى من المرجعية والاتفاق الشعبي هو اللي سرع في موضوع إخراج داعش. But what happened was there was the Grand Ayatollah, Imam Ali Sistani, had a fatwa, and that fatwa called the Iraqi people to stand and raise arm against ISIS and defend their country and liberate their land, and the people of Iraq from all over Iraq actually. They, some of them they were Sunni, some of them they were Christians, most of them are Shiites. They replied to that fatwa and they carried the weapon and they were the main power to get to drive ISIS out of Iraq. Therefore, the Iraqis, they liberated their country by their own. So what is the American excuses to stay in Iraq? as a military president. لذلك قامت الولايات المتحدة ولأجل إطالة بقائها في البلد بتحريك موضوع التظاهرات وتضخيمها. So what United States did, they moved, they went to the road. It's like we were talking about yesterday about going uh, like Tishreen, the, the movement of uh, October, and going uh, on on. Uh, those all these mar marches and all that the people when they went against uh, Mr. Adel Abdul Mahdi government at that time for them to keep their presence on Iraq. You're talking about this, uh, you and I were having a discussion yesterday in case our audience was not... Uh, demonstrations. All yes, the there demonstrations. were demonstrations. What year was this? It's 2019. Right, so there were demonstrations which were supposedly popular uprisings against the Iraqi uh, exactly, government. Exactly, yes. exactly. And, you, and the belief uh, uh, of, uh, as, uh, uh, is, is that this was orchestrated by the United States. <laughs> Yes, that's true. There are a lot of uh, NGOs in Iraq. A lot of that uh, manage right. the, uh, the... We have a lot of NGOs, yeah. human rights, yes. that manage, uh, that manage the American interest of staying and keeping their foot in Iraq. They, we have more than 350 NGOs or more. <laughs> Uh, we have a lot of NGOs. ISIS was eliminated. So United States should be out of Iraq. And, and, and a military, I mean, and the, it, its military presence should be out of Iraq. And there, and there was demonstration and public demand that was demanding a United States gets its forces out of Iraq. And to mix the paper and to lose the truth in the middle of that, the United States determined to assassinate Had Soleimani and Hajj uh, Abu Mahdi al-Muhandis to mix the whole scenery and to, to get things lost. When Soleimani was murdered, uh, the Western media talked about Soleimani, but they didn't talk about the other people who were killed. Mm. Could you tell us about the Iraqis who were murdered by the Trump administration? القشة التي قسم الظهر البعير تقدر تترجم هاي؟ اي شوف شوف واللي دفعت البرلمان انه خلاص يحرج البرلمان حرج قدام الشارع واضطر الى ان يصدر القرار اللي هو 2020. Assassination of Soleimani was the tip of the iceberg that have turned everything against the American and forced the Iraqi parliament to issue his decision of the expelling 
of the American forces out of the Iraqi line. قاسم سليماني كان ضيف للعراق وقادم إلى بموعد مع رئيس الوزراء عنده وبطريقة رسمية يعني قضية سيادية. قاسم سليماني was a guest in Iraq and he came to Iraq because he has an official appointment with the Iraqi Prime Minister at that time. يعني موضوع سيادة العراق. The 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 subject is about the whole Iraqi integrity. استشهد مع حج قاسم الحاج أبو مهد المهندس. Hajj Abu Mahdi Al-Muhandis, you saw his pictures yesterday. Could you, could you explain who yes, he is? Uh, uh, was also assassinated yes. with uh, Hajj Qasim Sulaimani. Abu Mahdi Al-Muhandis was the father of all the soldiers who were against Saddam. Abu Mahdi Al-Muhandis is the father, the sole father of all the resistance and all the movements that fought against Saddam Hussein since the 70s. And he is the leader of the, the popular movement committee in Iraq. So he had actually an official yes. job. I also as a, uh, he was a baron, a parliamentary person. Abu Mahdi Mahdi Khan Anwan Litaharar Ramiz Iraqi Litaharar. He was a figure for the Iraqi resistance and for the Iraqi liberty. And so Mukhandis uh, was a member of parliament when the Americans murdered him. No, no. Before, before, before that, before that. Okay. So, but he was. But he had an official job. He was in he, the he, government. He, he was he a was representative leading. of the state, and of, of, of a portion of the state, an arm of the state. Exactly. Exactly. Right. He was representing. Exactly. Right. Yes. Now, uh, about the public opinion about getting the American forces out of Iraq. We can put it in three directions, or three points. All, okay. uh, the, all, the, the, uh, all the religious figures, all the religious figures, and including the Grand Ayatollah Sistani and the rest of them, uh, they refused the, domin the, the American president in Iraq and the, as, a da as a military domination. And it's considered, therefore, it's considered it's a religious part that you would get the occupier this of the country. That's first. الموضوع الثاني في البرلمان لدينا تشريعات وسعيد أكثر من تشريع صار عندنا وقرار يلزم الحكومة. In the parliament, we had the tribes, and we have decisions, and we have a lot of movement that would compel the Iraqi government to end the presence, to work on, end, on ending the American president, military presence in Iraq. والقضية الثالثة هو الرفض الشعبي والتظاهرات والمنظمات والمؤسسات الرافضة إلى وجود الأمريكي. Also the third the third part is the public rejection the, for the American military president in Iraq. Also the organizations. ما يحدث ما يحدث الآن في العراق. What's going on now in Iraq? من هدوء في عمليات المقاومة. You see the quietness and you see the things are stable. There is no you do, we don't see an action from the resistance against the Americans. It's to give the Iraqi government an opportunity and a room to move, a space to move toward the Americans and work with them diplomatically to get their forces out of Iraq. What's important for me and the message that I want to get to you and to your audience, there is no attacks against any 
diplomatic person represent any foreign country in Iraq, American or no, non-American. We don't consider it. the people of Western worlds or the Americans people are enemies and we think that we should get together on a mutual respect and benefits and get the best out of a humanity, the best out of a human being to humanity. America controls the Iraqi economy and the political decision and changing the heart core of the Iraqi society knowledge and what the Iraqi society believes in. It's hard. So we expect from the United States and from the rest of the world and what we want is to deal with the Americans on a level of on an international level according to the to the international treaties and deal with the Americans on a mutual respect yes. and mutual benefits and it would benefit all of us. I have one last question and you've been very generous with your time. There is a genocide happening in Palestine now with the Americans providing the weapons to commit the genocide. Do you consider it the duty of the Iraqi people to come to the aid of the Palestinian people? Yes. هل إسرائيل هل تعتبر أن من الواجب على العراقيين أن يقدم المساعدات إلى غزة؟ نحن نعتبر غزة قضية داخلية وليس قضية خارجية. We consider غزة as an internal issue for the Palestinians, not it's not an Iraqi issue. تقاليد التي تربينا عليها. Uh huh. The tradition that we were raised on. ومعتقداتنا الدينية. on our belief, religious belief. تجعل فلسطين قبلة ثانية. we put Palestine as a second قبلة. قبلة لا يتكاس. like Al Kaaba. Like sorry, Al Kaaba. Al Kaaba is the first قبلة. is when when we pray, when Muslim will pray, yes. Hajj, they head to Kaaba, they face Kaaba. so Palestine is would 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 be the second. First, yeah, okay, okay. He's talking about history. Sorry, uh, 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 he's talking that Muslims first they were facing Pal uh, Beit al Maqdis, Jerusalem, in their prayers and everything. That's way before they turned toward Mecca. Therefore, we consider Gaza, Gaza, uh, Gaza is a wound that does not heal and it's a bleeding wound that does not heal. And the, the situation in the whole area will never be stable unless Gaza would be stable and get their rights. We have a genocide in Gaza. Kids, women, old people, civilians are getting killed and, and getting famine in Gaza. They are eating grass out of the ground because of the famine. This crime is a hideous crime and it's against humanity. And, and it's actually against all religions, whether, it, whether it's Judaism, Christianity or Islam. Everything was going on in Gaza goes against everything that a human being mind would accept it as logic. So the, the, whole, the whole region will never be stable unless Palestine 
I'm in general I'm Gaza in particular will still be Gaza تقاليد العراق في زمن صدام اللي هو كان طاغي صدام حسين كان طاغي كان أيضا يتكلم بفلسطين لأنها تقاليدنا موروثنا يعني ما قدر يتخلى. You see the even during Saddam Hussein time he was talking about Palestine and liberating Palestine it's because if it's it was in our traditions and in our beliefs it's not because of him no it's our the Iraqi tradition and beliefs that we should liberate Palestine and Palestine will be free in this minute right now as we speaking there are kids that are getting killed in Gaza Majazir. Humanity on the international level should take a place. United Nations, Security Council, what human rights, whatever is there, should take their role in stopping this genocide. Thank you very much, sir. It's been a pleasure. Shukran, Siyad,